one of you. Proverbs chapter 2. Proverbs chapter 2. My son, if thou receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so thou, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and continues to lift up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and continues to search for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord continues to give wisdom out of his mouth, continues to come knowledge and understanding. For the Lord continues to give wisdom out of his mouth and continues to come knowledge and understanding. Verse 7. For he continues to lay up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the path of judgment and continues to preserve the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. When wisdom continues to enter into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that continues to speak forward things, mm -hmm. who lead the path of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. Who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked. Whose ways are crooked and they forward in their path. To deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger, which continues to flatter with her words. <clears throat> which continues to forsake the guide of her youth and continues to forget the covenant of her God. Her house continues to incline unto death. And her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again. Neither take they hold of the paths of life. That thou mayest walk in the way of good men. And keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land. And the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth. And transgressors shall be rooted out of it. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading hearing of all of Proverbs chapter 2. Tulu.